Hi there. Hey. We are Friction Farm. I'm Christine. I'm Aiden. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, for um, allowing us into your homes, and for coming into our homes. Isn't it kind of cool these days that we get to do both of those things simultaneously? So we're going to start out with a song uh, about driving, you know, because we're all at home, not driving. <laughs> I used to say that driving was a lot like politics, or maybe politics was a lot like driving. That you'd start off with good intentions, heading down a road, going to a fabulous place, but sometimes you'd wind up somewhere else. Sometimes it was your fault, sometimes it was a bad turn, sometimes it was bad directions. So it turns out that a lot of life, particularly life this year, is a lot like driving. Up on the back, see an empty coffee cups at my feet. The road goes on for miles and miles and miles. There are things outside my window, places I wish that we could go. Backseat driving's never been my style. We reach our destination, is it my imagination? Or have we ended up on lower ground? We were headed for the mountain. We got turned around somehow. You always bring me, always bring me down. Next time I call shotgun in the front seat with my maps drawn. I watch the traffic, I read all the signs. Detour and a speeding trap I am getting hungry, I need a nap All the roads just seem to intertwine We reach our destination Is it my imagination? Or have we ended up on lower ground? We were headed for the mountain But we got turned around Somehow you always bring Seat. I am in control, I'll take the heat in the fast lane with the sports cars and V8s. Dashboard voice entrances me and she speaks authoritatively. I sit back while she recalculates. We reach our destination, is it my imagination? Or have we ended up on lower ground? We were headed for the mountain, but we got turned around somehow. You always bring me, 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 always Thank Thanks you so much. I can hear you applauding. You guys are very loud applauders. Thank you. So uh, this next song is inspired by the book, The Cellist of Sarajevo. And the book, of course, was inspired by the actual cellist of Sarajevo. And it's in, oh, he has, uh oh, 
don't look. Pay no attention to, to the man operating the screen. So uh, the book is an interesting exploration of what happens when the world around you explodes and everything you know crumbles and you get to decide who you're going to be. darkest hour will you hang your head you solemn tones cower and beg for forgiveness I don't know if it will save my soul but I will turn up the music and dance till I go last distance. Heaven has got enough excuse makers. They could use a couple more hip shakers these days. These days. turn dry and your crops won't thrive will you lock up your storerooms sell all your grain for a price to your friends I believe if I am blessed with more I will set a my doors ask you in this world has got enough deal makers we could use a couple more bread bakers these days these days A couple more 
peacemakers these days these days these days thank you well these are some interesting days that we are living in and I think for so many people, times are getting a little tougher, a little tighter. People are having some financial difficulties, not just caused by a pandemic, but also by uh, changes in governments, changes in climate. Uh, and so I think a lot more people will be uh, moving around, maybe moving from the town they live in to another one, to a different state, to a different country. Um, and so many of us will end up being new somewhere. It certainly gives us another opportunity to think about who we'll be then. <laughs> slipped away from our home Put all our hopes in the well of a small wooden boat Five days and nights we rode in shifts and unguarded moments let our spirits lift by luck or by providence we stayed afloat Just before dawn, the first watch spotted land. Oars in the water, we need every hand. My arms were aching, my vest was soaked through, but the promise of freedom began to feel true. By luck or by providence, Waves pushed us to sand. As the first rays of sunlight pressed the horizon, a crowd began shouting from shore. Turn back, turn back. We all cry, we are not safe. Anymore. The man we call Captain jumped in, he did not hesitate. He's through running and hiding, he'll face whatever awaits. After a moment, my faith beat my doubt. But if they're guiding us in and not pushing us out, by luck or by providence, I choose my fate. Well, we chose our own fate, moving out here into the forest, where you join us for the Farmstead Sessions. Uh, we moved here from New York City. We, uh, we liked the idea of having some wide open space around us, some forest and some creatures and some mountains um, and some peace and quiet. We decided that this was gonna be our own little slice of paradise. And in so many ways, it is. But clearly, we are not in charge here. Buzz, buzz, damn mosquito flying around my head. Torturing me with your tiny sound as I lie here in my bed. 
I should be sleeping, I should be dreaming, but I am racked with guilt instead. How can I profess my love for all living things? Still wish that you were dead. so rash there's a purpose to everything a reason beyond our knowing beyond the joy that some things bring they can't all be ponies pigs penguins bunnies bears, bears or birds that sing in short i will not do it i will not make that death bell ring you know you won't be happy if I don't get some rest, get over here and get to doing that thing that you do best. Go on now, kill it, end it, slay that beast, leave a smudge where your hand pressed. It's just a tiny insect next to nothing to confess. Creatures great and small. If the world is infinite grace after all, we are headed for a fall. The deed is done, the die is cast. I've destroyed part of creation. And I believe our evil ways have cursed us to damnation. But this can't go down in that book for future generations. Let's blame it all on a big old snake, the devil's incarnation. Creatures great and small. If the world is infinite grace after all, we are headed for a fall. We are headed for a fall. I am so big was so small we are headed for a fall So definitely definitely not in charge up here which is actually kind of a good thing sometimes right so the other night, there was a meteor shower. And we uh, got up at whatever time in the morning, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I don't know. We got up. We it was went dark. <laughs> we went out into the, uh, to the other room where we have uh, south and west facing windows. And we laid down on the floor. And we looked up at the sky. And Aiden took the south window. He got there first. He made it seem very casual. That he chose his window, and then I clearly there's more to this story. Took the west window. And we're there for a while, and the sky is really pretty. But you know, I'm there for the meteors, and then finally I saw one, one. I was there like a half hour. Meanwhile, Aiden over in his window, I saw seven. He saw seven. One of them was the same one that she saw, though. So we only saw seven between us. It's really not fair, is it? And at one point, there was two at the same time. I didn't see those. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> Remember, we could 
see the stars at 2 a.m. So many stars. The sky was dense with glitter. The Milky Way was ours. Now they've taken back their shine. Left only empty sky behind. All our artificial light renders us night vision blind. The last glimpse of infinity flickers that it's gone when the last star dies of loneliness what will we make wishes on see the stars at 2 a.m. so many stars the sky was dense with glitter the Milky Way was ours the last glimpse of infinity flickers then it's gone when the wishes on what will we make wishes on what will we make wishes on well since you're here in the house with us I figured maybe you should get to know us a little bit better, learn some personal things about us. So Aiden and I met when we were in college. Uh, it was at the end, towards the end of our uh, junior year in college. And, uh, and then we both, in the summer, we went in different directions. Uh, not, not that far apart, though, and we both had uh, jobs that let us move about. And so we got to see each other over the summer, which was, which was fun. And um, so for me, at least, I thought, well, that's what this is. This is just fun hanging out with somebody during the summer. It's not a lasting thing. Because we're in college, and we're going to go back to college. It's going to be our senior year, and we might still hang out together. But, you know, once that's over, we're definitely going to go in different directions. We've got lives to live. And so um, <coughs> here we are, some, you know, five eight, nine, ten years later. Sure. You know. <laughs> I read your book 
cover to cover on subsequent reading I always discover just one more thing and then another make it always seem new I keep coming back to the story of you when I first cracked the binding you were a quick summary I thought a little distraction was all that I need then fall became winter I was still intrigued we are long overdue but I'm still reading through the story of you Chapter by chapter, we're building a life out of words that you capture and phrases you write. Read to me. Year after year, there's more prose and more poetry. Can't wait to hear all the words that are yet to be read. and some mine still your character moves me the plot well defined and believe that it's true I might never get through the story of you we are long overdue but I'm still reading through the story of you Make it always seem new I keep coming back to the story of you So this is a, a newish song if you are uh, one of our patrons on our Patreon account, you'll have heard this before, and otherwise, probably not. Um, so while I was on the internet, so I, I, I took a turn, as, as one does. I took a turn. And I, and I ended up at the, um, the Vatican archives. And, and you know I wasn't heading there, but there was I was. Is that a left turn or a right <laughs> turn? I'm pretty sure that was a right turn. But, <coughs> but in any case... In the Vatican archives, the, the museum there, uh, are letters from Henry VIII, the King of England. And he wrote love letters to Anne Boleyn. And I found that kind of fascinating. And uh, I read them. Some were in English, one was in French, so I read the, the translation. And uh, what I knew about Henry VIII is that he was king. He married quite a bit often unsuccessfully, uh, and that's it. That's what I knew. Uh, and it's so interesting to get an, a glimpse in to the, to the real man, uh, to, to find out who he was. And I've been thinking about how in these bizarro times, it's really interesting to read about the um, 1919 flu epidemic. And, uh, and what people felt and experienced then. Um, not so much from the history books or, or the, the great journalistic reports, but really personal stories. Uh, and I'm so glad that they exist. And uh, so I, I hope some of you are writing down your experiences, not just from this time, but from your, from your whole life, because all of our lives are just filled with interesting moments, not all the moments, but, but tucked in there are some really fascinating stories, and I hope that you are sharing them. <coughs> sure. 
Henry wrote letters in deliberate script Considered how each word would form on Marjorie's lips Each week he selected the most interesting part To show her what filled up his days, what filled up his heart Legacy, paper and ink, a handwritten library, Henry and Marjorie let us glimpse in to see the very first draft of our family history. Marjorie read them each two or three times. Discovered new things about Henry between every line. She tested the limits of margins and social convention, opinions and intimate details she dared to mention. Henry and Marjorie left it legacy paper and ink a handwritten library henry and marjorie let us glimpse in to see the very first draft of our family history they wrote to the children who replied by email Digital typeface on screen without crows or detail. They wrote to the grandkids who answered by text. Cartoons and abbreviations, are there any words left? Legacy, paper and ink, a handwritten library, Henry and Marjorie let us glimpse in to see the very first draft of our family history. Henry's last letter to his first great grandchild. She doesn't read just yet, but she will in a while. She'll reach back generations, draw a line to her past. And for one devoted reader's write stories that last. Henry and Marjorie left a rich legacy paper and ink a handwritten library henry and marjorie let us glimpse in to see the very first draft of our family history Thank you again for being here. Uh, it feels really nice to know that you are out there listening. Uh, and this whole, whole video connect live stream thingy uh, is awkward for me. And so we choose to do something this complicated? <laughs> it's a distraction. It gives my brain something to think about instead of that we're going to be doing this. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's awkward for me. It's a little uncomfortable, and, and I really wasn't sure. We were, we were late to the game mostly because of me, because I was not sure that we could pull this off or that I could, that I could sing or play in front of a video camera with any kind of conviction, that I could master the technology, which I did not, Aiden did. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, so I just had all these, uh, and I didn't think anybody would tune in. So I had all of these um, uh, fears, uh, some well-founded, but many unfounded with absolutely no evidence. It's just what I believed. And I went ahead fearing those things for a while. And I wonder um, just how much that keeps me from doing things. This morning I remembered I could fly Strong black wings against clear blue sky I got tired and I looked down from the air Scarecrows everywhere Scarecrows, scarecrows everywhere Poor bird can't get no rest Scarecrows, scarecrows everywhere Has a poor bird to build a nest I was never one to push my luck Stayed within the boundaries of the old deal that was struck I knew the consequences if I dared Scarecrows everywhere Scarecrows, scarecrows everywhere Poor bird can't get no rest Scarecrows, scarecrows everywhere Has a poor bird to build a nest Next hillside, catch a draft. It'll carry me forward, but there's no turning back. I see fields of sunflowers down there, and scarecrows everywhere. Scarecrows, scarecrows everywhere. Poor bird can't get no rest. Scarecrows, scarecrows everywhere Has a poor bird to build a nest again for being here. We can hear you applauding. We can still hear you applauding. Actually, I can feel it, really. That's kind of a neat thing. Of course, that could be an earthquake. There was an earthquake in North Carolina the other day. I could just but have a vivid imagination. Whatever. I'm going with, the, I'm going with your enthusiastic <laughs> support and s applause and just, I mean, I, I, Ruckus. I, I know Lori Caldwell's like banging on the wall at home. <laughs> And Mary is probably Mary Larrick is down in Fort Lauderdale dancing around her living room while we speak. Excellent, excellent. So um, we're gonna do one more song. We have been ending our shows with this song uh, because I think it's 
It's what we need in the world right now. Not what we need from us, but what we need from you. So no, no pressure or anything, but listen carefully. This is what we need from you in the world right now. on tinder to ignite a raging fire growing much too big to fight malicious mobs may tattoo numbers on the wrists but there will always be angels in our midst there will always be there will always be angels in our midst are you singing again Be a man who coexists. Be an angel, be an angel, be an angel in our midst. There will always be, 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 there will always be. much thank you very much um, it's been really terrific spending our evening with you and we hope that you feel that it's been a nice time hanging out with us um, if you uh, want to support this this curious endeavor curious. Uh, you could uh, donate to us via PayPal it's completely and totally not necessary we're fine we're good but we do have a PayPal account but we also have a Patreon account, which I think is kind of cool. It's wicked cool. Uh, we do videos that don't go out to the general public that are a little more behind the scenes or inside scoop or weird stuff. Um, and we also have some songs that, in versions that 
people don't get to hear out in the world are old things that we should be embarrassed about, and yet we're sharing them with the inner circle. So uh, please, please check that out if you'd like to. And if you don't want to do either of those things, just show up here again next time, and it would be awesome if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Christine. I'm Aiden. We're Thanks Friction Farm. Thanks.